Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I am some guy, and welcome to Overanalyzed Adventures. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, and do I have a doozy for you today. It's an FMV hidden object casual game that's also horrific, or tries to be horrific. It's called The Emptiness, and after playing it, I feel a little empty inside. So, uh, let's take a look at it, shall we? Oh, some hooligans made this game. Good on them for being productive members of society. Oh, look, there's a warning. Just like the exploitation films of old. Warning. The game is... Contra... What the? Contradication? What, what does that even mean? Hold on, I'll be back with a quick Google. In medicine, a contradication is a condition or factor that serves as a reason to withhold certain medical treatment due to the harm it will cause the patient. Um... Well, okay, I guess this game's medicine. Hmm, so this is medicinal gaming, folks. Hopefully I don't have a heart condition or a nervous disorder. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that I'm pretty sure the people who made this game, these hooligans, they don't speak English as a first language. Depression. A spinning lady of black and white. See, I can do it too. The world is black and white to me. Well, if that's true, you should see a doctor about that. That's not normal. Black shadows hover around. Yeah, I have no idea what this guy's going on about. You were looking for light. No, actually, I was looking for a main menu that changed some options, hopefully. After all, this spinning ladies in 4x3 resolution. But darkness already has you. Oh, why, yes, I am a member of the Satanic Temple. How'd you know? All thoughts and feelings. You are right. I have no thoughts or feelings left after watching this. It's just a sea of why do you start off your game like this? Hey, the world's not black and white. There's some blue here. You're a liar. And your soul engulfs. Wow, Judgy McJudgerson. Thinking my soul's all empty? What a jerk. Aw, oh, that poor love seed, it has a tummy ache. Someone get it a Pepto Bismol. Okay, so the love seat pooped out a lady. Interesting. Greetings, my friend. I will grant you happiness, glory, and wealth. But what she can't grant you is adequate lip syncing. Come on, look at her lips. They're not even coming close to what she's saying. It's almost like she's not even speaking English. <gasps> you are a god. Thank you, that's very kind of you to acknowledge that. And you have the power over all things. Enjoy. Okay, is there any part of my powers that can make this game better? Eh, I guess that's a start. Dear friend, you are locked in a space of your fears, which symbolizes this grim house. I don't know about the rest of this house, but that love seat better than anything I have in my house. For starters, my love seat doesn't spit out Ukrainian women. Overcome them. Look for a way out. And step by step, Open the doors. Yeah, listen to the white, white lady. She's telling you what you need to do in this game. It's open doors. Because, you know, windows are indestructible. You have to go through all of the obstacles and horrors of your soul. Yeah, closed doors are fairly horrific things. Especially if you have your keys on the inside. Seriously, it gets kind of scary. Until you call a locksmith. Or just go through a window. I've been there. Only in this way, you will find happiness and peace. Good luck. Now we get to play the game. Oh, well, first there's a mandatory tutorial that teaches you how to play the game in case you've never played a game before. Yeah, let that hum sink in. There's no music. There's just a... Yeah, horrific. And in case you haven't noticed, yes, this game does move like mist, and I'm talking about the original image-to-image -image mist. Talk about a throwback for a game made in 2014. 
But anyway, after meandering about for a while, I did find the horrifically scary door that I was supposed to find. Because you know it represents my soul or something. Gather the spell and get the key. Oh, right, only about 15 minutes into the actual game do we finally get some gameplay. Yeah. Essentially, the majority of this game is looking around the screens for letters. In particular, the letters for the spells I'm using in air quotes. Yeah, it's like the whole game's one big hidden object game. Hurrah! Because as we all know, basing your game off of pure pixel hunting is really fun. Woo! Oh no, it's terrible. Oh my god. This is a tedious ass game, folks. It really is. Just find the friggin' letters. How is that fun? Oh well, I found all the letters. Nothing really exciting happened. Maybe a jump scare here or there, but I'm too lazy to add them in. Um, yeah, game, I, I really can't read what you're saying here. Your words are on fire. It's making it hard to understand what you're trying to tell me. Oh, hey, it's one of the game's first puzzles that aren't a puzzle. It really is just place random words in the blank. It's like a bizarre Mad Libs. At first I was thinking, hey, maybe this is one of those terrible pseudoscience psychological exam things that you see a lot on Facebook, often posted by people who you wonder why you even are friends with them in the first place. But yeah, no, I just threw in some random words and I'm sure none of it really means anything in the grand scheme of things. Actually, I'm sure it doesn't mean anything, but oh yeah, uh, lo and behold, and after we're done with this, guess what? The white white lady tells us, hey, you need to find a spell, which means more random letters to find. All right, yeah. This is game of the year material here, folks. Gather the spell and get the key. I really feel like she was trying to deliver her lines there. Like maybe she's taking a correspondent class for English as a second language. Okay, guys, bear with me. I'm going to show you some of the game's horror. Can you handle it? Especially if you have a nervous heart condition or whatever the thing said. Constipation. Oh, yeah. So, I take no responsibility if any of you die from this scariness. It's too spooky! Yeah, looks like that dude's really practicing his moves for the club. Hold on, let me put some music to this and slow it down a little bit. Oh, yeah. Mm, you go get him, tiger. Yeah, that's pretty much the game's horror right there. It's jump scare after jump scare. I have no idea why people think being startled is horrific. Never live in a major metropolitan area. There's a bunch of startling noises you'll hear all the damn time. But yeah, it all becomes a bunch of white noise because all you're doing in this game is tediously panning and scanning, looking for letters among all the white noise that is. The same friggin' backdrops in the same friggin' rooms over and over again again and honestly it ain't nothing impressive to look at seriously what the hell is going on with this sandwich is someone having like what is that a heart a kidney i don't know but what i do know is through tedious trial and error and thanks to the hint system yes i'm not afraid to admit it that i use the hint system after all i'm not going to spend my friggin evening wandering around in a house that represents my depressed soul or something without a friggin hint here and there so yeah i found all the letters and lo and behold something interesting happened briefly interesting
This is a horrible labyrinth of hopelessness, but don't fall into despair. Every labyrinth has a way out. Every cube has three exits. All of them are marked with the same letters. Find the door with a distinctive letter. I'll give you 10 magical symbols, which will help you navigate in space. Use them cautiously. Keep track of places you have been before. Don't panic. I'll always be standing by if you need me. I know what you're thinking, folks. You're like, oh, finally, a moment of real puzzle solving. I know you saw me use that knife to get that letter out of the wallpaper. But yeah, this is a maze that is really easy to solve. I just kept going right, and then, yeah, that's it, folks. Not really much of a mind breaker there. No, 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 this is a trap. What we have here is like a shitty version of Doom, where you have to orb the Dark Lady into a corner. I kid you not, that's all you have to do. I ended up skipping it because it was really boring and not nearly as entertaining as it sounds. Anyway, if you haven't figured it out by now, this game falls into a pretty steady and pretty repetitive pattern. Find the door. Then the magic lady's like, yo, find these letters. And then you have to find the letters. And occasionally there's a puzzle involving finding one of the letters. And then after you open the door, you get exposed to kind of like a weird puzzle. So yeah, rinse and repeat a couple more times. And then the game's over. That's it. But I'm already getting ahead of myself. Let me show you what happens when, well, something interesting happens in this game. faceless creature. It looks the same as you. Do you like experiments? Don't be shy. Create yourself. Yeah, this game's really weird in places like this, where you're supposed to make a baby. Yeah, I don't know what to say, folks. There's some really bizarre moments in this game. Like when you try to skip a puzzle, the game tells you, yeah, you, you can't skip it because it's like not what you can do in real life. Okay, this game's like borderline performance art in parts. I guess that explains why they only have one save too, because you know, in life, you only get one save, and then you die. It's permadeath, folks. That's what reality's like. And that's what this game's like, except, well, you can't die. You can just keep clicking until eventually you open the door, and then a weird puzzle happens. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Sometimes the dark sides of the soul lie in the anti world of consciousness. Everything in here is a striking example of such condition. The mirror is an anti world of space, which reflects it backwards. I don't know what any of this means. The game just, like, says stuff like this and rattles on and on and on and on. But yeah, basically all I need to do here is find the one character that doesn't look like the others. Or, if you're like me, you just click on everything until you figure out which one's right. And then, 
well, the cycle repeats itself until the end of the game. Do I really need to carry on with this review? Because honestly, short of the very end, there's really nothing more to talk about because there's nothing all that would be interesting to talk about. It's formulaic, this game. It's you open a door. You do a puzzle. You have to find the letters to open the door. You do a puzzle. This lasts about two hours and then the game's over. I mean, even the FMV ladies just end up repeating themselves after a while. I mean, here you go. Here's a montage of some interesting stuff that happens during the game in between finding letters and opening doors, okay? Montage time. Oh no, the place that once looked normal is not really normal looking now. Ah, uh, it's like some, I don't know, Babylonian dungeon? Let's go with that because that sounds scary. Yeah, now I'm putting weights on top of a scale to measure out to this other weight that has a vaguely satanic symbol that the developers came up with it on the other side. Woohoo! Should I put love on it or pity or grief? I don't know, folks. There's too many options. Uh, they all represent feels. Oh look, now that Babylonian dungeon is a spider's nest. Woohoo, spooky. And oh look, this room's on its period. I know that's gross. Ah, oh, now there's spooky lab coat guy playing the piano. When will the horror end? I can't handle this. My nervous disposition and constipation and heart failure. It's all getting me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, the horror. The horror. Yeah, let's just get to the end of the game. too many burdens on your soul. Leave something behind to go forth. Yeah, you randomly click on words that mean stuff, but there's no context and their meaning. I mean, what the hell does child mean? What does roof mean? What does tears? I mean, I just clicked on random words and clicked on random directions and then I got to the top of the mountain and I guess death or Mr. C's in black and white said this about me. Wasn't very positive, freaking jerk. No one likes you. Why don't you change your sheets? They smell terrible. Your world has not changed. A humdrum existence is your problem. Screw you, I make YouTube videos. I'm important. All the fears are still inside. All right, well, where else do you want me to put my fears? On the outside? How do I do that? Try to change yourself and brighten up the gray days. I'm sorry, Mr. Voice. Does my life not appease you, Mr. Random Voice talking to me in a hidden object game? Who are you to judge me? You don't know me! You don't know me! But only the memory. Our own memory is our righteous and eternal judge. And on that very sh and on that very strange note, so ends emptiness. Yeah, that was a weird game, folks. That was a pretty weird game. Um, well, I got nothing else to say other than my eternal memories, the judge of my destiny, or whatever. Does it make sense? Because when I die, my memories fade and the world ends with me because, yeah. Such is life and such is the end of this video. As always, thank you very much for your time, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody between. I've been some guy. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs>